Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Game Time Go, where last episode after starting the Tombstone Trials, uh, we were told by a skeleton, I'll call him Mr. Skeleton because that's what Oliver called him, uh, Mr. Skeleton told us that the only way in is to be dead. So now we're pretending to be dead with this spell called, uh, what was it called? With the Poison Apple spell, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Poison Apple and uh, a death-like state when eaten. So there it goes. So now we're pretending to be dead. And also last episode, we ran into a bunch of star drops. To help us uh, metamorphose a lot of our familiars, like for example, Little Jazz, which I think Little Jazz is going to be replaced sooner than later. Uh, we got to metamorphose Gunther as well, so we we got some we got our two guys up and running, and that's good. That's good. That's definitely good. So, and also last uh, off screen, I found this uh, secret weapon, this blade, uh, Dark Blade, and I gave it to Mighty Paul. So. He's up and running a little bit stronger. Remember, guys, if you guys like this episode, consider buying the games. Those are different experience for anyone that plays it. If I'm not mistaken, this is only a PlayStation exclusive game. There is, well, there is a past version. White Witch is the remastered version of a of a of a DS game with the same name. It's the same game, but just remastered. I think is. I'm not sure what the details are. Um. Yeah, but uh, Rin no Kuni Wrath of the White Witch is only available for the PlayStation 3. Well, okay, so it's not strong enough. Well, there is another, I think the original version, I forgot what it's called. I think it's Rin no Kuni something with black instead of white. I'm not too sure. And that one's only available for the for the Nintendo DS. But consider checking them out. There's a different experience from one that plays the game, and we're already on the Let's Play, so let's go ahead and do that and get that going. Hmm. Interesting. What's all this then? A little rundown shack, is it? It doesn't look like anybody lives here for a long time. Anybody lived here for a long time? Well, that'll do nicely then. Let's have a kip, shall we? I think that's a good idea, Mr. Drippy. I mean, it kind of it kind of looks creepy, but I guess we could rest here for a while, a little while. So we're actually gonna rest here, and that gives me a bad feeling. I feel like we're gonna get tossed into a boss battle. All right, Marcuson. Do it just like I told you. Uh, okay. It, it's no good. I'm sorry, Gus Khan. I just can't do it. Marcuson, are you lying to me? What? What? I know you can do it. You're just pretending that you can't. I, I'm not pretending. You are. Why would you do something like that? I, I'm not pretending. I'm really not. Hey, you shouldn't pick on your little brother like that. I wasn't picking on him. I just want to know the truth. Well, there's no need to be so pushy. I'm sure he'll be able to cast a spell before long. Don't you see? He can already cast a spell. He can cast loads of spells. Huh? He's always been able to, and all of a sudden he's pretending that he can't. Why would he do that? Maybe he enjoys watching Father tell me off. Do you think that, Gascon? Huh? Marcuson hates seeing you get told off. But he'd hate being separated from you even more. What are you... Only those who are capable of becoming sages can ascend to the throne of Ham of Hamelin. Isn't that right? How can you... What are you saying that for? Because Marcuson knows it, too. He knows that if he were to show promise as a sage, if he showed himself worthy of being emperor, well, I don't need to tell you what would happen. That's why he keeps pretending to not be good at magic. What are you... How do you know all this? He... I don't know what to tell you. All I can say is, this isn't a situation I'd wish on anyone. It doesn't matter. I want Marcuson to be to become a powerful wizard. I won't let you stop me help, helping that happen, no matter who you are. <sighs> I know you won't. Hell, I wouldn't. 
whole interesting scenario. Don't know exactly why we stopped here, but sure, and we didn't get much rest, but hey, whatever. What works, works. Can we go inside this place? No, we can't. And a shiny thing here. The curse be gone, and here goes one of those, uh... But the heck, this robot's taking a proper battering, eh? Hey, you don't reckon robots have ghosts, do you? Well, if we don't get touching it, we won't get any robot spirits clanking after us. Come on, Ollie boy. On we go. And now we're thrown here, which this really makes me think, hey, boss battle's coming on the way. I already had the, had the suspicion to begin with, but this makes it even more powerful. Let's go ahead and keep on going. Let's see. Maybe I'm just a paranoid guy. Hey, you guys are running away from me already. No need for all this. Come on, sir, attack me. Okay, good. Weren't, wasn't actually looking forward to you attacking me, though. Kind of like those guys that say, come on, hit me, and then Let's they get go. hit, and they're like, oh, damn, I didn't think he'd actually do it. Weird how that stuff works, isn't it? Ah, there you go. Here's the combo. I'm gonna wait for uh, Little Jazz's abilities to get a little bit higher, see what he actually brings to the table. And what then, can I say? if it it's a gift. push comes to shove, I guess I'll switch out Little Jazz for. I don't know who I'll switch him for. Maybe Tin Man or. Uh, or, I don't know. Uh, not an easy choice for me to switch out. Uh, I think I can add another trick yet. No, can I? Yes, no, maybe. Attention grabbing. I uh, don't really want to. Put that on there. I mean, we got Shenron. That's right. Call him Shenron. We can throw Gogo -Go back in the mix. Or we can throw the Reaper in there. I actually don't have any moon except for Simba. And I think I just gained some moon drops not so long ago. So Shenron would probably be a good idea. And especially since he seems to be from the sea. Spike attack. So we'll see what happens. Because the Tin Man seems to be a star uh, kind of guy, but if I'm, I don't know, I think he's going to be more defensive kind of, kind of familiar instead of uh, all out kind of go out there and take him on kind of familiar. So. Who knows? I know that the perfect of the original three are secured and never will be taken out, which is Paul, Leo, and Little Country. Even though I haven't been using them that much. Nice spot. So all the, these, those three guys are sure and secure. Um, I think Nova. I might take out Nova. Maybe later on, uh, unless Esther starts using Nova some more. And maybe Simba, since he's not being used that much either. Especially with Gunther coming back into the mix. This is one Simba's one chance to shine. Well, I think we have something here. I thank you, sir. Is it just me? I did get a lot darker all of a sudden. I don't like the look of this. I I can't see where I'm going. It's too dark. Come on, Ali boy, use your head. You got the perfect spell for finding things up a bit, ain't it? You're right. We already beat you to it, though, guys. Another one of those uh, skeleton guys. Watch me beat up your zombie. Stay calm now. Here goes. And then talk to you for some coffee. I don't even like coffee. I don't know why you just went down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Back up, mighty. Okay. Thank you. I think that was Esther. Got gotcha. Take you down. Go for the zombo. Definitely need to use your familiar more often, Nestor. Let's get that Zombo up on our team. Especially since we're kind of looking, looking for new familiars. If you get you, you tame the Zombo. Nova reached level 26 and gained a trick slot. Gunther reached level 11. Keep Zumbo, yes. Ka 
call you. Zambazo, that's fine. Ran out of ideas. If you pass through this cave, you'll find the mighty altar. Or you would if the path weren't blue cocked. Mahahaha. They say that the can candlelight may open the way ahead. But my I'm afraid I don't have a light. I do though. And off I go then. Oh wait a minute, I know what to do. Easy. Fireball, what are you thinking? What are you trying to do, man? You need light. You need to light the thing, not melt them. A flipping puddle. Um. So which one do I use then? Do I use a uh, magic lamp? Ah, magic lamp it is. So magic lamp again. Wait a minute. Worked over there. Maybe I just wasn't in the right angle. Magic lamp, there we go. Up and running. You already have lights, sir. I feel like I'm missing something for whatever reason. Ah, oh, I got triggered by another curse trap. I hate those things. Magic lamp. Ah, again. This guy's gonna come at me. A girlfriend. Girlfriend. Zombo. And we're all cursed. Making a slower to attack. But it doesn't really matter now, does it, Zombo? Let's go ahead and take him out. No point in keeping him up. Down. Come on, Esther. Well, you're slow. My you'll beat you to it. And the star drop, little jazz, goes up to level 12. See, his magic attack is incredible. It's just. Man's not really doing anything with it. You know what I mean? Oh, this is confusing. Don't want to get lost. Okay, so that's not where I wanted to go, huh? Interesting. I don't want to get lost either. Egg roll. Let's go. Girlfriend. And a boogie again. Let's take on this egg roll. Some too, though. Oh, Egg's cursed again. Attack. I fell asleep. Come on, guys, pick up the slack. There you go, Batman. Right, there you go, walking up. Should be able to take this guy out quick and easy. That's the stop. Actually, that's just doing some pretty good damage out here. Or is it just my imagination? Oh no, it's just still doing 1% one, one damage. I thought it was hurt throwing the pony up there, but it's actually mighty. Leo goes up a level. Bah, the path block. Get him proper. No matter pushing and shoving, we'll use. Get us through? Huh. There's some sort of trick to it. Or does that seem a bit far fetched? Well, we have obviously telling us to do something. 
Once there's doubt, you just use everything. Bah, okay, that's not it. It's not levitate, obviously. Magic lamp. Not magic lamp. Well, actually, I was over here, wasn't I? Nature's tongue. Quick growth. Rejuvenate. Secret ingredients. Bridge. Puppet string. Burden. Fireball. Pulse. Frostbite. Arrow. Poison apple and broom. Okay, so none of that. I don't know what I actually need to do there. Wait a minute. Okay, I was thinking that might be taking us back to... Watch out, sir. I was thinking that might have been taking us back to the beginning of the maze or whatever when we entered. Take these guys out. Come on, Leo, get in there. She really throws anybody in there to begin with, and then when she does, something always has to get in her way. That's what I don't understand, isn't it? She's doing 1% damage. She's not really doing anything high. So I, I, I wonder why she doesn't throw someone like Leo or like Batman or like nobody in there. Even nobody does more damage than she does. This guy girl is actually pretty tough. Master! We're in the market. We're familiar. Still a little jazz out there, just so you can... Moment of fun. Okay, that's enough. Taking too long. Let's get the 20s out there. Simba, nice to see you out here, sir. We won! I think it's getting close to that time where a ball is about a metamorphosis. Yeah, sure. And another, uh, magic lamp spell. And healing touch for Swain as well. So where does this lead us exactly? I mean... Looks like we have to go back down there. Back down this way we go. Am I going the right place still? It appears so. Okay, guy attacked us. Zumbo, no A, B, and another Wisp. I'm tired of these guys, actually, but they make, they make good grinding, though. There you go, guys. Oh, Leo's actually putting in some big damage himself. He's taking about the same damage I am, so... Good for Leo. And here comes Esther. How did I know? How did I know? We did it! Okay, let's see how Jazz does. Eh, still not very convincing. I'm gonna keep using this levitate in case there's any traps left around. scenario here. Magic lamp. It's okay, sir. I don't want to fight you either. 
obtained a mystery shroud. So I hope we go this way then, looks like. Or do I have to turn all these on? Before I can go... Ah, so that is exactly what happened. I had to turn on all the candles before I was able to continue. Did you feel the shaking just now? And what about all that noise from over by the other side? It made my lantern rattle on. Hold on, my fairy senses tell me I might be able to carry on on the path now. And my fairy senses never lie. So we'll make our way over there. Fairy senses always lie. He told us we had three minutes last time and we had more than three minutes. Plenty of time. Abundant. So why don't we go this way? Get back some levitate. And uh, which way did we come from? Appears it was this way. There it goes. Go out the way, lady. Ah, I got back attack. Damn it. Fancy your chances, do you? Doesn't take much to run away from these guys, though. Oh, okay, I'm confused. Don't attack. I have to wait a few seconds here. I can't even use my provisions. Oh, well, unless I actually move over to Esther. Confusion be gone. Oliver. There we go. Here goes nothing. Water bomb. Keep you busy. I'll take the girl food. Esther's down for the count, but well, it shouldn't be a problem. Unless we were trying to capture this girl fiend. It looks like we're done there. Until next time. Emberstone, I wonder what that is. It looks like an interesting little thing. But I'm actually gonna leave it here for this episode, guys, as well uh, maybe I'm tempted to See if there's any cutscenes at play after I step out of here. Nope, nothing at all. So guys, I'll leave it here for this episode as we continue on the trials of the tombstone. Um, and hopefully get to this Mornstar thing as soon as possible. So remember guys, if you guys like this episode, consider buying the game so it's a different experience when that plays it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and come back tomorrow for a brand new episode of Nino Kuni. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.